Hello everyone and welcome to The Medium, which was released uh, just last week uh, for PC and Xbox Series X. It is the first it all starts with a next gen uh, exclusive game, I guess, for the Xbox Series consoles. Uh, so we're playing on the PC here uh, with the ray tracing enabled, although this is a cutscene, I guess. So we're going to play 1440p with uh, DLSS and ray tracing enabled. So I really like the look of this game. It is kind of like Silent Hill kind of thing. So, you know. What's this? Oh, she's walked to the edge of the pier there. Uh oh. So it starts with the death of... At least it's not a vampire like Resident Evil. Maybe it is. Maybe there is vampires. Who knows? It's James Bond. Isn't that the gun that James Bond uses? So James Bond killed that girl. Isn't that like the PPK that James Bond uses? It's a whistling kettle. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. The James Bond shot her. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. That is a weird dream. I wonder which James Bond shoots her. I wonder if it's like Daniel Craig or Pierce Brosnan maybe or Sean Connery. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of the memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. Why is her hands and face all dirty? You think she no would have washed her hands think I was before she made the tea? Like, you know, basic hygiene, if come on. Only wash your hands, then make tea. She made two cups of tea as well. Like, is that typically meant to be for us, is the audience? when the phone rang? I don't know. It was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to... So is this say goodbye pre-rendered, I think? Although the GPU usage is quite high. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. Oh, there we go. Gameplay. I just had to find his special tie clip. Special tie clip we gotta find. Alright. It's in the diary. Yeah. October 1999. There's a lot of funerals. There. Funeral, funeral. Are we a funeral director, maybe? Is that what we are? No, no. Never really read anything about this game. Um, there's nothing else to interact with here. We can't go over there. There's the door, obviously, and the, the diary, but... Uh, at least she's washed her hands this time. Uh, let's open the door. There we go. I like the Resident Evil camera. Oh, shit. Cat. Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Alright, let's head on in here and... Jack's room. It's like he never... Take it, Jack's dead, then. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Oh, I'm telling you you were special, did he? 
Is that what he used to call it? Uh -huh. Seems a bit dodgy. This is. There's nothing else there. What have we got here to interact with? Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. In 1970. Hmm. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Mm, yeah, that's a good point. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral Ooh, home. Oh, it's a picture of Jesus. Out whenever I could. There's a picture it of the Jesus things. on the right there. And we got a cross with Jesus on it, so there you go. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Ooh. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. Like, I guess they just used to make me happy. Like butterflies. Jack that knew you... it well. Mm -hmm. That's why there's so many of them here. Kids from the orphanage. Mm -hmm. so... Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Alright, so you got the reflection. No, that's not ray tra Ooh. That's a screen space. Uh, that's an SSR light. You can see how it fades out when you take it off the screen. So that's not ray traced. The light there isn't ray traced. There's the reflection of the light there wasn't ray traced. Because what happens is with screen My space, if you take it off the screen, it As gets, a kid, it disappears. The reflection disappears. Um, I'd usually say something like, "Pretty sick, huh?" She was in ICU. I was such a dork. That's an ICU admission card. Intensive care unit. The mirror doesn't work, so. Yeah. Supposedly some of the scenes in this are ray traced, and some of them aren't. I did turn the ray tracing on, but the frame rate is abnormally high. Let's go explore this apartment. It is very Silent Hill. This game, I mean, it does... What is that? Oh, I better feed the cat. Funeral home key. Yeah, we are in a funeral home. Looks nourishing. Mm, cat food. Alright. Let's go uh, feed the cat then. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still there we go. around. See? Fed the cat. In Ghost of Tsushima, you get to pet the foxes. In this game, you get to feed a cat. So, you know. Also, we got a dark room over there. It's in the dark room. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Can we develop a photo? Alright, how do we develop a photo? Illuminate the photo for five seconds, and multi grid for three seconds, stop for three settings, and the other one for. I don't have a photo. I don't have the photo. Oh. I guess I forgot about this one. Alright. I can do it now. Okay, let's, let's do this. So we got, um, no, nah. we got it. What do we do? We both want to do it. It doesn't tell you what wins what. That one, that one. All right, we gotta put it there, maybe, and then switch that on. All right, so we got a five seconds, three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. Is that longer than five seconds? I don't know. Let's let's try it. That does it work? <sighs> Missed my window. Nope. Now it's overexposed. Uh, get another one. Alright. And we gotta count to five now. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah! Illuminated photo. So stick it in this one. Purple one for three seconds. Alright, one, two, three. A little bit longer then. Oh, there we go. 
I can end this one with three seconds. One, two, three. Ooh. There we go. Right, let's do this again. In there for three seconds. That is one, two, three. Oh my god, it's, you, it's, it's the guy that owns Amazon. Shit. What's his name? Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Jesus. Jeff Bezos is dead. Oh, my Amazon Prime subscription doesn't get cancelled. It does look like him. It really does look like the dude that, that owned the, or the chairman, at least, of, of Amazon. That is weird. Anyway, I didn't know what to do here, so I have cut. Uh, we've cut back to here to find his tie clip. Because uh, I did wander around for a bit and click on everything. And, Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? And, uh... Okay. Let's do this the other I wandered way. around for a good few minutes. I like the way the clock works. That's quite good. The second hand picking. Oh, there it is. Who hides the tie clip under the... There you are. Jeff Bezos has hid his tie clip under there. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Jeff. We'll call him Time Jeff say from now. Say goodbye to your Amazon Prime subscription. What the hell's on Amazon Prime anyway? The Grand Tour is on it. Um, no next day delivery either. We lived um, upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I way. may never have learned to use my powers. The powers of what? Finding tie clips? I kind of I kinda like the... I like the, the old school Resident Evil camo the fixed camera angle. Well, it's quite good. I mean, very few games use it nowadays. But, yeah. It's more... It's actually more Silent Hill. Like, Silent Hill was rendered in in real Jack, time. So you can see the way the camera like kind of follows her down the stairs. Condition. That was very Silent Hill because Resident parents. Evil used... He was the only one who uh, it used pre-rendered backgrounds and Silent Hill used real time rendered backgrounds. So you could have more of a Silent Hill technique. That's why the camera was... The last goodbye funeral home. That's the name for it. Is this the key for it? And uh, take it. That's funeral home key. That makes sense. All right, that makes sense. Jack's in the prep room. Mm, prep room. I don't have the key for it. All right, let's go in here. Doesn't ugh, those reflections look? They don't look very ray traced. Hang on. Gameplay ray tracing. Why is ray tracing off? That's better. Look at the frame rate drop. There you go. That's ray traced reflections. You got the reflection of the chairs now. On the side there, at least. That's better. Wondered why that light was the, the lamp wasn't reflecting correctly. Uh, that seems better. Now we've got ray tracing on. I mean, the frame rates took a dive. We're running DLSS on medium. I don't know what a high, medium, or low DLSS is. I mean, is it low DLSS means low usage of DLSS, or does high usage mean I don't know? I just put it in the middle, at medium. Yeah, you can see that the reflection of the chair now over there. Um, the chairs. To the sides, not the chairs in the middle, because they're not on a reflective surface. Um, yeah, that's better. You got ray tracing on, and you can see there when you move it off screen, you move the chair off screen, you can still see the reflection of the chair. Because if it's got using screen space, then if you take it off the screen, it's no longer reflected, which is not very realistic. There is Jeff Bezos there again, and uh, his special person. Yeah, so you can see it there on the chair. The ray traced reflections. There we go, the frame rate's taking a massive dive. That's. Yeah, that's a bit. That's more like it. Right, did we get the key out of here? Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Alright, there we go. I forgot to get the key. 
Where would the key? If you're a key, where would you put it on the desk? Wouldn't you? That'd be the sensible place to put it. I think that would be sensible. Here it is. There it is. Prep room. There we go. See the difference? We were triple digit frame rates, and then we put ray tracing on, and now we're struggling to hit 60. It says, I mean, this game on the Xbox Series X, it only runs at 30 FPS. But what you've got to remember about this game is a lot of the game is rendering sort of twice the uh, twice the rendering day. I'm going outside here because I want to see if there's any improvements in the reflections in the puddles outside. Just because I turned the ray tracing on. I mean, the frame rate is lower, but eh, I can't really see much. The camera's at the wrong angle, really. Oh, there's a sign there. This funeral home sign again. But yeah, you can see how the frame rate goes down. Shows you the impact that ray tracing has. I mean, that was medium DLSS. It's still medium DLSS. Uh, but yeah, so this game does run at 30 FPS on the Xbox Series X. Uh, but bear in mind, it is rendering two scenes at the same time. Especially when you get into the sort of dual world, dual reality aspect of it. It's having to do that two separate scenes. It's not like split screen. Uh, split screen, it does take a bit more processing power because it's basically the same game scene that it's rendering, but with two cameras, effectively. If you think about a first-person shooter sure with split screen, uh, the camera is essentially the player character. The player just controls the camera directly because it's a first-person game. Ooh, the frame rate's hey, bad in Jack. here. Um, but if you think about it, it hasn't having to render, this is having to render two scenes entirely different. Uh, so it's not the same as split screen. I mean, split screen does have an impact. There's Jeff Bezos there. There he is. God, it does look like him. Uh, I need his tie. I got your special clip. No. Special. Where's your tie? Did we order it from Amazon Prime? Oh, there it is there. There you go. Get a special tie, combine it. Air X to combine. Alright. Uh, there it is. Line. There you go. Special Amazon Prime tie. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Right. Just checking to see. Performance in this room is really. <laughs> I'm guessing it's those reflective, uh, the, the, where they store the bodies. Did they not store bodies I expect this naked be... in those things? I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. She was Amazon's number one customer. I guess you're ready. She gets to bury Jeff. Do you think they'd bury him in like an Amazon Prime box? Instead of a coffin? You know those boxes you get with the big smiley face on it? I think that's how they bury him? An Amazon Prime funeral get delivered to the grave next day? Some guy just, oh they just dump you in the, if no one's home they'll just dump you outside the funeral home. That's how I want to go. I want to go out in an Amazon Prime box. Really, that that that's that that's my idea. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. Zombies. The zombies are coming. They're coming for Jeff Bezos. We gotta defend him. You can see the reflection of the stairs and the door. That's pretty good. Really that, that that shiny. Check upstairs. No, you check upstairs. I ain't going upstairs. Oh man. Oh, zombie. There's a zombie. Oh. Or is it a vamp? Is it the big boob vampire ladies? We're not playing Resident Evil 8. No, not them big boobed vampire ladies that have Wolverine like claws. Oh man. <gasps> 
What the hell? We're going into the retracing room. Ah. The retrace chairs have fallen over. You felt it too. No, it's just a cat. Oh, the ardens have been spilled. And then it happened, as it did so many times before. Oh. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. There we go. See, this is the jewel, the jewel reality. Oh, where is that darn Jeff. Notebook? I'm gonna be late. You see, it's having to render both scenes. Uh, uh, Mariana, are you, are you crying, my child? Hey, J Jeff! Whoa, life has not been good to you, Jeff. Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably so the get the character rest. model is slightly Forget different. So it's having to render oh, it twice because no, 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 no. it's I've kind of so skin different. Work, right? It's okay, I, Jack. I know, I, and then it's having to render that that. If you look at the materials, they're it's not very different from one scene to you, the other. So this is you kind are of crying. What's wrong, dear? You're dead, and I'm talking to you. That's probably what's wrong. Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> where is that? Shh, 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 shh. It's okay, hey, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> Jack, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. It's time to get some rest. Why has he got a porcelain face? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, you've got you've got a hole in your sure head. You're gonna be all right. There is, there is a hole it's, on the other side of his head. It's gonna be fine. Yep, there is a hole. You know, on the other side of his head. I promised myself once I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. I mean, porcelain face is the least of his worries. All right? All right, Jack. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. Yeah, so that's just him in the kind of spirit world, maybe? And he's walking into the light to go be with Jesus. He's gonna go be with the Jesus. And there was no zombies? Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack... Is that what she does? It still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Mmm, that was the Daddy now. So he was her adopted? Daughter, because she came from the orphanage. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. At least she has clean hands pouring out the booze. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. 
I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh, he said the line. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Help Hello? me, help me, Marianne Kenobi. Shit. You're my only hope. Alright, where are we going? Some resort place? Ooh. We get a nice bit of uh, black and white footage here. Of old school Poland. I mean, the developers are Polish. It looks very yeah. Eastern European. Kind of like, I weirdly really like like Soviet era buildings. I don't know, they just have a very weirdly oppressive, yeah, appealing feel. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is I like about them, but I do. I think that's where we're going though, we're going to a kind of Soviet era resort. <laughs> Making test tubes, whatever that was. Oh, a polygraph machine. Pigeons are attacking that woman. She's like, whoa, don't take my photo. Ooh, the medium. If they make a sequel to it, will they call it the extra large? Or if they made like a limited edition, the medium, the extra medium edition. You should do that when you go clothes shopping. Uh, ask for extra medium. Just ask for that and it confuses them. Ooh, we're on a motorbike now and we're heading into the countryside with a low frame rate. And off I went on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts and there was something about this guy his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, <laughs> I think the uh, the, the sure reflection on their helmets killing the frame rate looks real time. To be fair, you saw it like moving the handlebars. Bit of a ray traced helmet she's got on. You can definitely see it's real, the reflection in the helmet. It's pretty good. You can see her hands going up to take it off. So this is a hotel. The Neva Workers Resort. Workers right Resort. Off the it's bat, a Soviet I building. Could feel there was something Ooh. off about that place. I kind of like a Soviet era buildings. Bear in mind, Poland was behind the it was behind the Iron Curtain for you know good fifty odd Anyone years. Home? I guess not. So it was under Soviet... They were called the Warsaw Pact, weren't they? The kind of Soviet Union. And there it is. In Soviet Russia. Resort find you. I don't know how to do one of them. This is a Soviet holiday camp for the workers. Ooh. Can we get through the gate? I don't think we can, I think it is padlock for the looks of it. Looks as if we'll need the key. 
Yeah, we're gonna need the key. It's not in the office. Front gate was locked up tight. Yeah, I figured that. I needed to find another way in. Yeah, I'm way ahead of you, Marianne. Way ahead of you. Let's go down this way. It's, I mean, it, I do like games like this. I miss the old kind of PlayStation era games. Neighbors? You know, with this kind of fixed camera angle. <coughs> Nice to play them again. We're gonna have to do better than that. It's a really nice looking game. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it's having trouble running, but it is running Not ray tracing. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned well, vacation run. resort. Until Left one day it just run. stopped. And so, an urban legend a was A government-run... Oh, it was a Soviet... Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. It was a Soviet Crazed building. workers, ancient curses. You know, Nazi zombies, true. maybe? You never know. That was in Poland, mm -hmm. isn't it? With the Nazi zombies, stuff. <sighs> That's set there. <laughs> uh oh. Zombie, zombie. Oh, the balls disappeared. Was the ball in her head? Was it real or is it in the other reality maybe? Who knows? Huh. LB activate the flash. Oh, oh, Alright. Yeah. There we go. Footprints to follow in the woods. This ain't a good sign. There we go. Forgot where the footprints were. Can you imagine if we had like a modern Resident Evil game that still that was like this? What's this? TK. Mm. No idea. We can't do any more interacting with that. And it's not where the footprints go. Up there, maybe. There we go. Can you imagine a Resident Evil re-remake with the fixed camera angle and modern day visuals like this? They're pretty good, I think. Because the GameCube was quite good for doing pre-render backgrounds. Huh. They were really impressive. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. What kind of holiday resort has a fort in it? One they don't want you to leave. That's the warning about. Unearthed remains, something, something. Yeah. That doesn't seem threatening at all. Something happened here. Yeah, there was unearthed remains, and it was a fort. So imagine someone tried to attack it at some point. You don't build a fort, uh, you know, for no reason. Usually it's like a strategic defense or something. Usually people get killed in battles with forts. Cause someone's going to try to take it, I guess. The split would come and go. We're back in. If a place had a story dual to tell. Realities. Well, I guess so I bear in mind it is listen. doing ray tracing and rendering two scenes at once, so you know it's it's quite a challenge for this game, technically. We're going up there then because we can't go the, that way in the other reality. What have we got? We've got a fuse box. We press A or X, what does it matter? Dead. You can change reality. Like everything else in this place. It's alive there, it's people who got. It's on at least. What are we gotta do? Find. I can't go that way because there's a gate ahead. In one reality? The place felt over there. old. And soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. 
But even in the deepest darkness, it looks like there's a load of people linger, staring at lonely, the thing. Fragile. In the other reality. Waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. Did it do anything? A that? dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this war? We just. Alright, we just take that, I guess. Alright, our jacket, the arm of our jacket's all charged with the energy, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it is quite technically challenging to render, have to render out two separate scenes and two separate character models as well. Because they are different, you know, one's got different, different hair colour, different jacket. But the controls are case, synced up. You're controlling both of them at it. the same time, so you know. Energy's energy. Hold RT right. to let the spirit blast in. Oh, no. so that worked. Good for you, Marion. Yay! These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, is it on? That is on. They did come in handy sometimes. All right, there we go. We can get out. So the gate only exists in one reality, but it's still a barrier because both worlds are synced up. There you go. So you have to solve puzzles in one so reality to affect the other. Existing That'll be in two worlds, but never really living in either. Yeah, but you can manipulate one world with the other one. Make for a great puzzle mechanic. Caution! Fire hazard. Don't go starting no fires. Hmm, did we go left or right? Uh, let's go this way. Oh. Uh oh. What happened to you? Zombies. I think it was zombies. Let's go the other way. I don't like that. They dared to kill a deer. If the zombies can kill a deer, they can kill. Let's go this way. Just randomly head off in a random direction. Well, because they went left or right. What the hell is that? What the hell? That's what I said. Is that a gravestone or something? Oh well, let's not go that way. It's too creepy. We will make a brave retreat. Yeah, this seems way less creepy. See, it is more Silent Hilly than Resident Evilly. Silent Hilly. <laughs> Because that had two realities. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't have, you couldn't be in both at the same time. Ooh, there we go. I don't know what it is. It's just the industrious nature of the Soviet building. It's fading in and out of reality again. Oh. What the hell? I don't get it. I, I kind of like them. They look oppressive looking. They seem really. The aura in that place. We've got an arrow on the ground. I've seen follow. others like it, but never this. So we've got this installed intense. on an SSD as well. It was like a land. Um, so again, we're switching between realities. It has to no, load a lot good. of data in quite fast. Yeah, I don't know why I like the grey drab colour of Soviet buildings. I just think they cool. I just think they look. I like the oppressive nature of them. No, no one. Nothing makes you feel more oppressed than a big grey building. I would like, quite like to work in a big grey building. Be a bureaucrat like in uh, Papers, Please. That's a cool game. You got arrow pointing that way and that way. Let's go. Let's go this way. Yeah, and the arrow's pointing that way. Mm. Broad horizon. New Soviet spacecraft soon to the farm. 
air too. The global eradication of smallpox. Bear in mind, this is 1999, it's, uh, I bet in like 20 years time there's going to be another virus that's going to come and confine us all to our homes. That's what I'm betting. But for now, we can party like it's 1999. We can go outside. Uh oh. Remember in Silent Hill when your radio went off? That was when enemies were nearby. Let's go into the big Soviet building, shall we? It's a holiday resort. Or a holiday hotel. It's not. Ooh. So it's not quite the same as Resident Evil. I like the way the camera pans across. That's what Silent Hill did. It makes it more. It makes it creepier, in my. I think. Walk in the front door, I guess. I'm guessing they'll be expecting that. No. It's only glass. Hello? You could kick it in. Anybody in there? Give it a kick. Yeah, just smash the glass. Locked. Obviously. There's um, gotta be another way. Obviously, indeed. Kick the glass in. Grab a rock. Here, sure, there's a rock line somewhere. There's a butterfly line there. Shit. The handle's missing. Not bad. Kick Maybe the glass. Maybe I could replace it with some. You could replace it with your boot. Kicking the glass in. Huh? Yeah, it's either laughing at you now. Even the spirit world, zombie world's laughing at you because they know you could just kick it in. Go down this way. See, there was an arrow pointing in the other direction there. Maybe that leads to somewhere. No, no, no. It's like a dead end down here. There's a plaque there on the. On the wall there. Let me read that. It's all in English. I think it'd all be in Polish or Russian. Some in 69, 1969. The Niwa Resort. Let's go. There's a car there. Anything? There's a butterfly hey, next to the car. Old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place Why like this? Why is she this? chatting up the machine? Stop quit chatting Doubling up. as a spare bedroom, apparently. Ooh. Another Niba holiday. I mean, brand new, it looked alright. Okay. Hope you don't mind if I, uh, pop your... Yeah, why is she fluttering with the car? Ah. Not much here. Although, this. Use that to open the handy. door. I guess. Screwdriver. Ow! Oh! Shit! What the hell? The car's just horny. No one here. They are kind of trying to, you know, coming onto the car. That's a, what I'm saying. It was a terrible joke, but, you know, I made it and I don't regret nothing. And I regret nothing. She started it. She started flirting with the car. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Alright, let's go open that door with the screwdriver. See if we can't get into this building. This big, intimidating Soviet hotel. Alright, let's go. There we go. That's better. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Oh, I remember 1999. It was a good year. Good year, 1999. We could go outside in 1999. Remember that? Remember outdoors? Where are we pushing? I'm this starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. All right, we can go in. All right, there's a, a broken window up there. See, someone else broke the window. We could have just kicked the window in. You could have picked up the the, the tires, the spare wheel, and threw it at the window. That could have been an option. I'm just saying. Careful, careful. 
That glass is sharp. Yay, we made it in the big Soviet building. All right, so anyway, that is all for this video. We have been playing this for 45 minutes now, and I don't want this to last an hour because it's going to take about, you know, 10 years to upload at this rate. Uh, so there we go. We have reached the big... We've, uh, you know, put Jeff Bezos' tie on, and we've reached the big Soviet building. So that is all for this video. So thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.